What's up guys? Wanted to make a quick video for you about how weekly billing really kind of changed the business for me. I don't know the long-term effects of this yet. I will preface this with saying uh, it's only been about a month since we've been doing the weekly billing. So I don't know what this looks like in the fall. Uh, I'm not sure if people will cancel. Uh, we'll keep you updated when we get there. But I wanted to give you a quick rundown of a Facebook post I made in a private uh, Facebook group for Augusta Nation. So uh, the, fa the, the post reads, uh, here's how switching to weekly billing and requiring uh, strictly requiring card on file has gone for us in North Carolina. So on March 10th, we had uh, almost 150 customers without cards on file. That was nearly half of our customers that we had across uh, multiple locations. So we had just over 300 customers uh, roughly 320 customers. We sent them out an email on March 10th stating that we are going to start weekly billing on March 18th, which was the following Monday, I believe. So we gave them a one week heads up. We were a week and some change into the, uh, you know, start of the mowing season. We started mowing March 1st or actually March like 3rd or 4th. Um, March 1st was a Friday or Saturday, but so we would charge them, we'd let them know we would be charging them for the first two weeks, and then we'd be billing every Monday afterwards. Uh, on March 18th, we billed for the first two weeks. Also, with that additional, uh, that initial email that we sent out on March 10th, we said we were going to strictly require card on file starting April 1st. If you don't have a card on file, your services will be paused. So on March 18th, we billed for the first two weeks. We did not send out paid invoices. We let them know that they can view their invoices on our um, client portal. Netflix doesn't send you a, an invoice every time that you pay. It's because it's the same thing every single month, right? Every single month, it's the exact same charge. So we let them know they could where they could find their invoices and uh, we again sent any people that did not have a card on file, we sent them their invoice with a special message saying, reminder, please put your card on file. We will be um, pausing services that don't have cards on file starting April 1st. It's important to note at this point, uh, over that week, we did have about 10% of clients uh, asked to postpone their service. So not a, not a massive amount, not a super significant amount, but uh, we live in a transition zone, so half of our lawns are Bermuda and aren't even growing yet. I figured we would have mowed till the end of the month, and then they would have finally said something. It's not like they couldn't see that, you know, we had been there, uh, you know, see the lines in their yard and stuff like that, see that the edges are clean and everything again. Uh, but I assumed they probably would have waited till the end of the month, and then we would have had to refund the whole month. So we just went ahead and give, gave them their money back for the first one or two visits, and we said, no problem, we'll see you in April, beginning of April, mid-April. To me, that was a positive. Uh, I don't really see that 10% as a loss in any way. So then March 18th, March 25th, uh, we continued weekly billing, again, asking people for cards. Uh, we started getting more and more cards on file. By March 28th, uh, we sent out a warning to all people without cards on file saying, your services are going to be paused next week if we do not have a card on file. At this time, we did have 67 people without a card on file. So down nearly... 85, 85 people or so had gotten cards on file at this point. Absolutely fantastic. The date I post this was April 3rd. So April 1st, we went, uh, had to have card on file or your services were paused. April 3rd, I had checked that day and we had 32 clients uh, without cards on file, 20 of which are from our oldest location, which had been running for four years without um, having a strict card on file requirement. And that was the location that had a few commercial accounts as well. Not a big deal in my mind. Um, five or less problem clients in all locations. That is less than 10% of our clients because at that point we had well over 350 clients across the locations. Less than 10%, less than so 32 of them did not have a card on file. Today I can say it is April 18th. Uh, we have paused all services for clients that don't have cards on file. At this point, we are in the single digits for people that did not end up getting cards on file. Um, hallelujah. It was probably a good thing. Uh, those people probably never planned to pay. They probably planned to never tell us that they wanted to cancel their service. Uh, maybe they moved. I don't know. I don't know what happened, but I'm really not pressed about those like 
10 or less people that don't have cards on it that we Paul services for. So the impacts that this had, uh, this really helped us to survive this, uh, this first half of spring rush. We still have a second, the second half of spring rush coming. Um, but I, I can confidently say like we wouldn't be at the point we are and be as offensive and, um, growth mindset as we are if we did not do weekly billing. It just so significantly helps with cash flow, making payroll, um, significantly less stress. I, I don't think it's for everybody, but I do think it's a really good option if you don't, um, if you don't have a ton of cash, uh, this spring. I could be wrong and this could backfire and a lot of people could cancel when they see multiple charges coming off their card uh, as we get closer to winter time. People might start canceling early. I guess we'll have to wait and see. So, yeah, as, as far as that goes, I think um, being able to stay offensive when you want to grow, especially in the time when it matters the most during the spring is is very important. So I hope that helped. If somebody was thinking about it, uh, just a couple of emails, give them a week's heads up, uh, do it, do a transition over like a three week period, four week period, and uh, it shouldn't be an issue. I promise there, are, there's a lot of people um, that will accept this, that are looking for this type of service. They want to set it and forget it. Uh, we do, we do still have a few clients. I dealt with two today or, or the GMs dealt with two today that uh, had called in and said that they refused to pay by anything but check. I said, sorry, uh, you know, that's not scalable for us. Um, it's an issue because the office ladies, uh, you know, need to make special notes for these people that they can schedule them without a card on file. We have to make sure that they get us the check. We have to make sure that the check doesn't bounce. Um, I've had checks that I've tried to deposit like nine days later after it was written and it said it was too old uh i just i don't do that anymore so um yeah being aggressive with the card on file it's the way amazon it's the way netflix it's the way all these businesses work um if you want to be able to scale scale quickly and have a business that runs on systems, I, I highly recommend this.